Hi everyone, Helen Blunden here from activatelearning.com.au. As you can see, I'm not in my home office. I'm actually at the Australian Technology Park and I'm here for day two of the Australian Institute of Training Development Conference. I thought I'd vlog my key reflections uh, from the first day and uh, just share, share those with you. My first reflections, I guess, um, the format has changed, but it's changed for the better, I believe. Um, many of the, the presenters, all of the presenters have been brilliant. They've pre it's presented a blend of, you know, what considerations do learning and development managers need to know and need to experience and need to um, support, especially now at a time where things are changing so much and so rapidly, not only within our industry, not only within our organisation, but even in our society as a whole. Everything is changing, and so we're now at a point that we have to sit up, we have to listen, we have to get in there, muck about, try things out, and change the traditional approaches that we know so well and we are so comfortable with into something that could be a bit foreign to us. Uh, the blend of presentations and the case study material through panels have been fantastic and the information that I gleaned out of that was um, for the first time at a learning conference that I've been to, customer advocacy has been mentioned a few times and that to me shows that um, learning and development now is getting serious about looking at looking at the, the team members out on the front line, looking at those people who are doing the job day in, day out, at the coalface with the customer and giving them the tools, the support, the resources they need to be able to uh, serve that customer well and be an advocate for the organisation by providing a top-notch experience for the customer. Now that was a very, that's the first time I've heard of the customer advocacy within a learning program. So that showed to me that maybe now learning and development is actually changing their perspective and looking at the people who are out there doing the job what are the tools that they need what's the support that is required to, in, to enable them to do their work effectively and to provide those tools in a manner that is seamless within their work day uh, which doesn't disrupt their work day and which doesn't get them thinking um, and also uh, confused with inconsistent messages from doing the job and also from L&D so it's been a very interesting um, a very interesting day Look at conferences as well, one of the, the very good things I do enjoy is networking and I had an opportunity to meet my Twitter pals, Twitter friends in person, face to face and it's always lovely to, to meet people face to face. So I met people like Shai Desai, met um, Katie Morris and look there's too many to mention so hopefully you know don't feel, don't feel bad that I haven't mentioned you but just um, yeah, it has been fantastic just to meet people in person. And thank you also to Ryan Tracy who organised last night a third place meetup. Third place is a social networking group for learning and development professionals around Australia. And it was lovely to catch up with um, a whole heap of people from all around uh, Australia and also Ben Betts from the UK, who's doing a social learning workshop today, uh, sorry, tomorrow, tomorrow through the conference, but also a wonderful surprise in meeting Julie Dirksen, who was out from Minneapolis in the US. And Julie is the author of a book called Design for How People Learn, which is brilliant. So I encourage you to check that book out. So thanks, Julie, for coming along, and it was lovely to meet you in person. So what's on for day two? Interesting. Guess what? Michelle Ockers and I are on to talk about the case study of a guided social learning program I designed for Coca-Cola Amatul. Um, the beauty of this particular program was Michelle and I were actually learning socially with each other through it and um, we've written both our respective um, perspectives. Michelle's written her perspective on um, the business aspect of this social learning guided program and I do encourage you to check her blog out at michelleockers.com. Meanwhile, I blogged about the analysis, the design and the development of that social learning program within um, Coca-Cola Amatul and I encourage you to have a look at that blog. It's all on, it's all on activatelearning.com.au and just type in CCA in the search and you'll get out all the, um, all the blog posts. Other than that, I'm looking forward to another day. You might be subjected to more of my scribbles. I don't know. If I can get Periscope to work, I'll try that out. Although like a submarine it's just gone underwater <laughs> my tech isn't that good 
surprisingly. Anyway, I will see how we go. Otherwise, I'll subject you to more, more of my drawings. So hope everyone has a lovely day and I'll um, chat to you soon. Bye for now.